guys, Cassie here. I'm gonna show you some amazing ab moves. Be sure to do this three to four times a week to truly see results in your core. So what you wanna do is lay down all the way on your back like so, vertebrae by vertebrae. Now, spread your arms all the way out, palms pushing into the floor. Knees in tabletop, knees straight up, heels pressing, toes pointing. Now keeping your upper back pasted into the mat, I want you to bring the legs down onto one side as low as you can. Now using all your core strength, exhale, reach up all the way back towards center. Inhale, come down and exhale, press and come up. The main thing to remember here is try not to let your upper back lift off of the mat. And if you can't bring your legs all the way down, it's okay. It comes with strength and flexibility. So try 10 taps just like so, and you will be working your obliques like crazy. Have fun. Now, if you've tried the trunk twist before and you've tried a regular sit-up, imagine doing those two at the same time. This is what the crunch twist is. So bring your legs out forward, hip width apart, feet flat on the floor, hands forward, tuck that chin in, and slowly roll down with control. Perfect. Now bring your hands together, elbows wide. I don't wanna see them come in, I want them in a straight line. And all you're going to do is twist one, two, three, four, and back down, two, three, four. As you can see, you are working your obliques and your abs all at the same time. And yes, it is difficult, but it's fun. Now, if that's craziness for you guys, what you can do is you can simply grab onto the back of your legs, come up, don't even worry about that twist, and come right back down. Or if you want to you know, cut it in half, you can always just do the twist by itself as you build up that strength. All right, now you're gonna wanna try 10 of these, all right, because that's a lot of twists. That's 10 up and down, and you will feel your abs. It's gonna be awesome. In Pop Pilates, people love this move because it really attacks your obliques and your abs all at the same time. This is a total core move. So bring your legs in front of you, hands in front, slowly tuck your chest in and roll down with control. Now the movement here and the positioning is extremely important. Bring the toes into each other, knees wide like a diamond, all right? Both hands behind the nape of your neck. You're gonna push yourself up into Pilates stance, meaning the head, neck, and shoulders are lifted off of the mat. Now, I'm going to bring my elbow towards my knee and my knee towards my elbow. And then you can exhale, come on the other side. Now, check this out. If I were to just move my elbow here, not much action is happening, but if I move my knee towards my elbow, wow, I'm getting the shakes here. I'm really feeling my obliques with this essentially side crunch. So guys, that is your wiggle. I want you to try anywhere between 15 to 20 of these and your abs and your sides will be so sore and you're gonna love it. This is a combination move for your inner thighs and your core. You're gonna love this one. So go ahead and bring your legs forward, hands in front, slowly tuck the chin into the chest and roll down with control. And we're gonna start with froggers first because it's two moves and we'll combine at the end. Heels pressing together into a V shape. Please flex your feet and bring those knees out wide. Don't bring the knees in too close. They wanna pretty much track on top of your hips. Hands pressing down, you're gonna exhale and bring the knees together. Notice how the V in my feet stays there. It does not move the whole time as I do the froggers. You are so gonna feel your inner thighs with this one. So where's the ab part? Place your hands long behind you. On the exhale, I want you to lift up right there. Notice how my feet are long, my feet are flexed, and come back. Inhale, exhale, reach, legs long, feet flexed. And the abs are strong and they're working and I am shaking. So that is your Frogger ab move. Try 15 of those and you're gonna be shaking a lot. Have fun. When you don't have time and you wanna work your abs and your thighs, well, we're gonna combine it all in one. So bring your legs in front of you, hands in front, tuck the chin in and slowly roll down with control. Hands by your sides, come into tabletop and extend those legs up. Now place one hand on top of the other and bring it all the way back. Now check this out. I'm gonna inhale, on the exhale, I'm going to lift up, open wide right through my legs and come back down. Exhale and down. See, we're getting inner thighs, outer thighs, 
and abs all at the same time. That one is really fun, it's killer. Go ahead and try 12 to 15 of these and you're gonna be ready to go. For more great moves, check out health.com.